Abaribe cannot sit in Senate and continue to fan embers of disunity and war, APC chieftain has lamented. It has been reported that Abaribe, uh, Senator Abaribe, you know, a senator from the southeast, uh, has been accused by for wearing the Dot Nation clothes because uh, some Igbos, or some uh, Igbos, I would call it, they have started, you know, you know, uh, preparing for their referendum and preparing for their division. And by what uh, President Muhammadu Buhari has said that uh, during the interview in on Arise TV, uh, uh, Buhari said that the people that are you know, agitating for a referendum or the secession is they are just like a dot and the circle. And Senator Abaribe is wearing a, a, a t-shirt that that uh, is written on it the dot nation mocking the president but the northerners are not even happy with this they said Sen uh, senator baribe should go and apologize to buhari why will he do that well to continue with our articles when national security is threatened human rights will be suspended says supreme court of Nigeria. Abaribe is in the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He swore an oath to pay allegiance to the corporate existence of Nigeria as a political entity. Abaribe promised to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all his strength, to even defend the unity and uphold its honor and glory. Look at the t shirt he is even wearing. It is very well written on it the Dot Nation. Well, it also bears the flag, uh, the Biafran flag and color. This is del a deliberate act to attack on Nigerian or the Northerner. Abaribe, as a senator, took Namdekanu on bail and today he cannot produce him. Well, I would say concerning uh, Abaribe's, you know, standing for, and uh, standing as a shorty for uh, Namdekanu. Namdekanu has done nothing wrong to the you know, to, 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 to be arrested or like as a criminal. Namdi Kanu was once treated in 2015 as a criminal and uh, Baribe stood as a shorty for Namdi Kanu. Now they are saying in, uh, Baribe should go and produce in Namdi Kanu. And Namdi Kanu is run, 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 even running away from anybody. Namdi Kanu has done nothing wrong for, to the federal government. Namdi Kanu has done nothing wrong to any body why should abaribe produce an Amdekano? on what ground well that should be justifiable but in other words that should be uh, an article for another day today i do not know how many young Igbo that die in confrontation with the nigerian armed forces that went to southeast to stop the killing of police officers destruction of police formations public institution and breaking of prisons gate well abaribe cannot sit in the senate and still continue to fan the embers of disunity and war. Anytime he stands up to speak, he does not speak like a distinguished senator. He speaks with venom and hate, totally unbecoming of anybody privileged to be a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is always counterproductive, totally unpatriotic, and totally reprehensive and unacceptable. Well, Abaribe should just, you know, go home and join in Amdi. Kanu, Joe Igbokwe. I know it is Joe Igbokwe. This Joe Igbokwe, I believe, is a bastard from the Igbo clan. Yeah, though, if you even if you don't support a uh, uh, secession or you don't support uh, uh, what the Biafra or the indigenous people of Biafra are up to, you should just keep mute. You know, just yeah, you are more or less like the dot in the circle. Just keep mute and you know, stay away from uh, 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 complaints and you know focus on your your appointment that's what i believe he should have done he is always of the opinion of tackling uh, the egos and his own counterpart well on the other hand joe igbokwe is just an Igbo, or is just from the southeast by mouth well, but i believe uh, abaribe is a true nationalist a true uh, federalist a true senator that you know, likes his people and concerning what has been said now that uh, Abaribe, you know, talks with it, that uh, anytime he stands up for, uh, to speak, he does not speak like a distinguished senator. He speaks with venom and hate. 
well if he has you know your if is he referring uh, to abari bay as speaking uh, uh, speaking eight or distinguish and uh, distinguish him as uh, speaking with venom and eight what about the president our so-called president Muhammadu buhari because concerning uh, what he said during his interview on arise tv buhari said those that are you know you know forming embers or four they are just like dots in the circle or in other words those that are agitating for secession that they are just like dots in the circle so those uh, words are they not you know hate speech or those words uh, are they are they not uh, uh, how will i put it those words are they not uh, in supportive or just or one-sided uh, ethnic group those words Buhari also should be accused also uh, the issue of Abaribe presenting uh, Namdekano what has Namdekano really done Namdekano is just a normal person that is agitating for good governance just like Sunday Igbo of the uh, Yoruba uh, Republic they are only agitating for good governance because the cry of Namdekano since onset Buhari came in has been that Buhari uh, agenda is not you know uh, is not at the interest of nigerians as a whole but either buhari is a one-sided man is uh, uh, is the one even forming embers of war because of its eight speech because of the lopsided uh, appointment that has been given to the north the fulani the fulani itself even uh, the Hausa people in the northern part are even angry that the fulani have taken over all the old parastatas that fulani has taken over all the old uh, sensitive positions that are supposed to be men for Nigerians because Buhari is more or less like uh, his admission is just divide and rule. When they borrow money, they share it among themselves. The, 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 uh, the, 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 the period, the 16 years that PDP used in ruling, when they borrowed money, we only heard that they were, Nigeria is only owing about 63 million naira. Uh, but in less than seven years that the APC took over, we Nigerians have, have, have borrowed hmm, times, I would say times six of that money. We are owing so a lot of money. They will borrow money for hams, borrow money for infrastructure, borrow money to do so many things. But in the angle of the arms, you know, to purchase arms for the country, you know, Buhari and his APC, uh, Abbas, APC administration, they have borrowed a huge amount of money you know, to fund arms, to fund uh, insecurity challenges that we are facing in the country. If the money comes, they share it among themselves. That is why Boko Haram issue has not been dealt with. But he said in less than six months, he's going to eradicate Boko Haram. By the long run, we are saying it, that his agenda is not to even savage the situation of security in the country. But instead, he is just, you know, being sentimental and doing things in his own way. But may God help us that 2023 comes because there won't be election. And if there be, uh -huh, then let God take charge. But as it is, agitations have been going from left to the right. Igbowo so, uh, is agitating for the Odudua Republic, while Namdekano also is agitating for the Biafra Republic.